Microsoft Paint has had layers for years because every color is its own layer, if you use the right tool. The Transparent Selection tool is one of the strongest tools in Microsoft Paint, and you can pull off some weird things with it. But for starters, let's pick up where we left off last time, and let's get this scene in place with the sunset. The tool we're going to be using is a little tucked away. To find it, you're going to come up here to your selection panel, hit this drop down menu, and then all the way at the bottom, you'll find Transparent Selection. Let's check it to turn it on. Now, the way that this tool works is that when you make a selection with it, It'll copy or move every single pixel, except for the ones that are the exact color you have chosen up here in color two. Bear with me. Grab your eyedropper tool and then right click on your background color. In this case, it's this kind of default blue. Notice how it sets it to color two. Now, if we go to our selection panel and we drag over this entire scene, it should move everything except for that blue color. Let's drag it up onto our gradient. We're gonna use our arrow keys to get it right into place. I think that looks pretty good to me. We're gonna click off and we're done. Because of this tool's limitations, it's way easier to add things to scenes than it is to subtract them. So some pre-planning goes a long way when you're working with a transparent selection tool. This piece here, Dream Country, I think it has around six or seven different layers. That satellite dish, the trees, the trunks, the ground, the mountain, the beach, those are all their own layers. And you can see it kind of broken down here in one of these work in progress documents here. So I essentially was able to create this by using the transparent selection tool and just dragging every asset into place once it was completed. As for the weird things you can do with this tool, this takes the cake. Essentially, you can 50-50 opacity overlay two totally different images using an array of pixels just like this. This technique deserves its own tutorial. I'll get around to it. What I use this tool the most often for is creating custom brushes just like this. Additionally, you can create a color replacement tool using the eraser and the same principle. That being said, let's go over all the custom brush options MS Paint has in our next tutorial.